Welcome, welcome everybody to another Cash and Cheat Day, at least on video this one. It is 3.34 and it has been two weeks of cheating, cheating every day. So it's kind of like an all in from Stephanie Buttermore in case you watch her. I just need like a lot of food for summer. So I don't want to go in details. But cheat day, cheat day, cheat day, cheat day, cheat day, cheat day, cheat day with Papa John's Pizza. Finally, finally, decent coupon. Extra ketchup, extra ketchup. Extra barbecue chicken bacon and uh, onions on it. And I want to show something because it's right here. My Christmas tradition uh, growing up and I'm finally happy to get them. Christmas calendars for the kids with a piece of chocolate in it. I don't know who likes ketchup. There's Rancher, there's Rancher pizza too. Let's get, uh, get started. I was looking forward to this. I like the barbecue sauce here, Papa John's. I think it's the best barbecue sauce out of the three major ones: Domino's, Pizza Hut, and Papa John's. At least when I bought it, like I haven't eaten Papa John's for like a long time. Mm. Yeah, still the best one. Although I remember it's a little bit sweeter, but I'm getting old. But I always put extra barbecue sauce on it. Hold on, I need to fix something, something spills, hold on. So I'm back, a little spillage, spillage. <laughs> but those advent calendars, like, I, this is the first time I didn't buy myself one. I mean, shit, a, a, a child at heart. I cannot talk anymore, but it makes every single day. Little chocolate piece in there. Nice. And then I got it in, in blue, guys. I have a different map. And a different map on it. Important to show you guys. Oh, cool. Sasha, can you show them? And that's what you get inside, like pieces like this sleigh. There's, and the funniest part about this, mm, the cheap, they have different versions. The cheaper one, I feel like the t uh, chocolate tastes better. This one will be another oddball cheat day. I'll ex exactly explain why in a later segment, but a little bit longer. As you guys can see, I'm a little cramped in. Got the tree behind me. Camera over there, so if, I, if the camera shakes, I was kicking it on accident. Uh, today is December 4th, two days, and St. Nicholas is coming. So the kids have to put out their shoes in front of the door. Not the outside door, the room door. <laughs> I think he brings candy or not. I can show me when I grew up that you had like plays around St. Nicholas. You had to go up there, you had like a ruined book to check if you're naughty or nice kind of thing. Oh, fun fact, my fun facts. Just remembered it. Hopefully I remember it right. In case you guys don't know how the Christmas ornaments boss came. It used to be like you put apples inside or on the tree. At one point changed to ornaments. So Wait, you, you fun fact. Actually, Papa John's nowadays uh, flavor the crust as well as the Parmesan crust, but they actually charge extra. For the Pizza Hut, I always get the Pizza Hut favorite crust. This one, it was expensive as enough, enough like treating myself to uh, Papa John's. I'm not paying for like, what was it, dollar two dollars for pizza crust flavor. I about want to try with onions. Onions. Hopefully I'll get the pizza slice back, guys. Onions, onions. And she took off the onions. That's cheating. I want the. I want the whole. Per I want barbecue on. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. New thing from me from Germany. It's pom pommes, though, which fries and curry worst, which is like proud worst with curry sauce. So the, uh, the chips are flavored like that. That's how they look. They're supposed to look like fries. Now I'm gonna look forward. I'm giving one away. I don't get the get the curry worst part, but but. Do you know the barbecue chips? It tastes like those barbecue chips, and they have that like. Okay, but I get the flavor. If you have ever been in Germany or in Germany, you know the. I've had all over the place. I bake at curry wars, yeah, fries. They taste similar to the fries. They are different. They don't taste like McDonald's fries. I have a certain 
sun flavor. I just never mind like where I'm from. I just like like the fries. I like Christmas season. Some stuff I like better when I was a child, like the snow it was amazing. Like being, being on a uh, sliding down, eat on a sled, you can actually use like, uh, like trash bags, kind of, or store bags, depending on your age. Yeah. Fun memories. I have one picture, mom on the sled, um, I took the picture, right at the moment she's like, like laughing, like her mouth open. It's the funniest picture. But the, those memories, the other memories, the friend, <laughs> just slide and just slide right in a pole. <laughs> Snowball fights. Or well, the time I tried to buy, uh, build an igloo, I never finished it because we didn't have that much snow. But kind of, that's the only thing I missed. I don't miss the snow, I don't miss like driving in the snow, the cold. I don't. I mean, I just missed like the ah, I got got one of the chips in my that's in my right. eye. That's so right. yeah, that's, that's, that's how smart I am. I don't have a paper towel. I miss like just the the season, the the white out being outside, like going through the seasons. And then of course you had like Christmas markets and stuff like that. The smell, like you guys can see gingerbread. I bought so many gingerbread stuff at all these. I'm saying all over the family have a Christmas Christmas tree. The smell of the Christmas tree. Second year in a row, I have a fake one here, it's just easier. But here, it's Milka Speculatius. I got it from Germany, it's like with the Speculatius cookies, you can buy it all these. One of my favorite cookies. And of course, like hanging out with the family, grandma, grand, uh, grandpa, as a major part of my life. But cooking, uh, cooking, baking cookies. Having fun going to the fancy restaurant. Once a year. I actually have to ask my mom to buy something. I should see something. I'm just gonna be jealous. If I get my hands on that one. Uh. Look at that. They have a Milka Nutella version from Milka. I have to write it, write it later. I need that. I need to try that. I have to, I have to, I have to uh, tell my mom to hunt that one down and show them the mail it to me. You have to hunt it down. Only problem is mail packages are so expensive. Empty, empty. I felt good. It's four. I'm done. I don't know if I'm going to be back for a snack before uh, breakfast. But breakfast I have an idea. At least for me. And then it's going to be dinner afterwards. I'm skipping lunch. If everything works out tomorrow, I have to have, 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 have a busy day planned. But who knows, who knows? Everything changes. Isn't cheat day? If it would work out according to plans, it would be a surprise. So, let's see the damage and I'll be back. A welcome, unexpected meal, a McDonald's um, cheeseburger meal with a large fries. Some of the barbecue sauce I had left over from Nugget Challenge, but nobody liked my Nugget Challenge. It was just for me fun. Busy weeks, uh, stuff going on. And McFlurry, uh, Chips Ahoy, never had that one. Sweet tea, large, 108 calories, I think it is. It's what the app said, like, whatever. This is my go it was my go to meal from McDonald's. Cheeseburger meal with large fries, not the McFlurry, but, and barbecue sauce. Felt like it. Extra ketchup, no pickle. Time for the McFlurry with caramel in it. It makes it, of course, very outstanding. I love caramel. It's a busy day tomorrow for me, so I have to fuel up. Oh, in case people think I'm cheating. The iced tea is done too. I love the McDonald's iced tea, it's the, uh, like the sweet tea, it's like nice and sweet. With some barbecue sauce. And I just put it on the on the table so I have to clean up the table. Yay! Again, the crumbs away so I have to less of a mess here. So two sauces down with it. Lovely like dinner. 
because I mean tomorrow, as I said, I have other plans. You guys will find out what it what they are. Ah, I didn't have a lot to talk. Sorry for that. The time will come hopefully. Anyways, so enjoy this meal. Damage now and then I'll see you guys for hopefully the breakfast portion I'm excited about. Welcome, welcome everybody to the breakfast portion of this cheetah, as I said, special thing planned. My favorite donut place, I went all the way out there because you have other things planned as well. Ah, uh, a lot of nice donuts. I don't know what to start out with. Start out with the same thing that Sebastian has, they're called Winter Bliss. The reason why I start out with it is the only thing I know the name of. Winter Bliss, um, I think it's coconut on it. Um, and I got this. Caramel iced coffee from McDonald's of Ross Freak. As you guys know, it's 8.57 if you can look at it. We're amazing and really, really big. I'm sorry, it was a light. Bad parking, I guess. People are gonna complain about them. the macros again. I just did the advantage of on the small stores, that's why, not, that's why I try to stay away from it because people tend to complain if I put like higher macros in. But those are uh, big and a very a lot of topic on it. I have another one I'm gonna show you in a second. That's more true. Nothing compared to Krispy Kreme or Dunkin' Donuts. Way bigger. I see, yeah, it doesn't work with a light. But it has like a little sugar on top of it too. Next for me, I looked up the name. We call it the Chris World. If you guys know Christmas Vacation, Chevy Chase is the writer name. Yeah, I have a sugar cookie on top of a donut. Lovely sprinkles. Yeah. Two good things. I have to watch out and eat all of them. Enjoying it, some amazing stuff. Unfortunately, location is so far away now. There's a uh, Spiller Beast is what the one thing I talked about close down, closer, closer by. It wasn't that close as well. But I'm going to mm, tell you guys what I'm going to eat next. Ninny Muggins. I have no idea. You guys, are, you guys probably know what they refer to. I have no idea what Ninny Muggins is. Here we go. Here we go. Huh? Ah, it's still alive. You can see it from here now. You see the size of how big they are. There's M and M's, marshmallows. I, I guess Captain Crunch on it. The little pearly things. You know the gold pearls you have. Christmas stuff. I'm leaning forward to try to prevent a mess in my car. I need to add, let me, let me do the camera a bit, bit so you can see me better. No idea what they did with the Captain Crunch. Maybe because they're stale, but I mean they're so good, but they're softer than the, when you put them in mug. I have eating it, so. Can't go without a peppermint brownie. Talking about pe peppermint stuff. Um, my last time we went uh, on the drive and I went back up, I got the peppermint flavored um, Starbucks thing you can buy in the uh, refrigerated section if you like peppermint it was actually very good the price I didn't like but peppermint pieces here too all fancy today I have a long drive ahead of me I didn't technically don't want to be too full but mm, I need to get one I didn't have to figure out which one is what I have a peppermint brownie a peppermint um, filled and I have a jelly filled one. I'm trying to figure out which one is what. I think I want, oh, okay. I want the raspberry filled one. So this, I think is the raspberry one. Mm-hmm. Mm. A lot of filling. And once you start, you cannot stop. Here, this is the Snickers one. The ice, um, the ice coffee is done too. Um, oh my, because I'm gonna count for it later. Double cream, two times cream, three times sugar, um, caramel. I think it's 280 calories for the app side. What one to do? Crops I pick up for that easier. Didn't go through. Up 9 11, you can see it. Oh. 9 11. I don't have three more donuts left, but I don't want to be too full. We're driving for a couple of hours now. Maybe I'm eating before or maybe tonight. I don't know yet. But that thing is amazing. So I didn't talk a lot. I'm in the car. 
my <laughs> McDonald's parking lot. I don't know if you, my oh, cars you saw back oh. there. But um, great stuff to damage. I'm going to be back with another meal and we're going to enjoy ourselves now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Dinner time, dinner time. On the way back from Legoland. I still have to drive three and a half hours. So it's 7.49. That was what I was talking about earlier. Lovely plans, lovely plans. A lot of roller coasters. And I was a sleepover. So for the boys stay at Legoland. A lot of fun. If you follow my social media, you saw some pictures. So I stopped by Checkers. Ben large banana uh, milkshake. I really wanted an iced coffee, but I didn't want to stop by a McDonald's just for an iced coffee. So I got myself once loaded fries and then the chili fries and stuff like that. Um, that's out of the loaded fries. That's how they look. I say it was perfect customer service, friendly and stuff like that. Busy, but friendly. And steaming hot because I'm eating in the car. I'm not used to that. It was perfect weather for um, a theme park. Not too cold, not too warm. It's, it had a little bit drizzle this morning, so it rained a little bit. So not a lot of people, not a lot of wait time. We had a blast, like a lot of roller coaster. Lee is a nice park for younger kids. Mm. Don't expect like like a um, fancy roller coaster, more, all made more for kids. But if you're a parent, that's exactly what you're looking for. Stuff your kids can ride. Okay. This one is done. The loaded fries, uh, the ranch fries, loaded fries are done. Now the chili cheese fries. Ah, my old school favorite. Oh, look at that. Doesn't look appeal that appealing, but to me it does because I know it tastes amazing. I'm weird like that. I like it. I do, I do, I do. I think I'm talking less in this video too. And I kind of make a good thumbnail because it's dark. I gotta take a picture of my food. My video is like few has been down lately in, anyways. Maybe at one point I can show my lyrics just for the people to understand what I mean with that. My next week's gonna be another another cheat day with the kids. And then it's gonna be out for two weeks. Uh, well that's not, doesn't have been a doesn't hasn't been a pleasant week to, for me. In life. That's why I had to continue cheat days, just at least something. Like just to deal with it. Oh, I ate all of it. it was great. I could have bought more, but my budget is blown, so kind of had to limit <laughs> what I get. So why uh, that is, I'm gonna eat some, um, some something something uh, here. This one is supposed to be a peppermint cream filled donut. I mean, the cream is disappointing. I expected more flavor. Now I'm getting a little bit more. I do like a little bit stay. I had it too long in the car. Pumpkin cheesecake. Why not? Mm. I'll get stale. My bad. Now let's do the last one that I have. I totally do not know. I don't remember which, what, what, what that one is. It has Hershey's kiss on it. I think Mitty, no, not Mitty, I don't know if I got what it is. Mmm! Oh, man. Reindeer poop, that's what the name is. Mmm. That's how reindeer poop looks like. Oh! Never mind on the Hershey's kiss, it's melted. So I'm back, I'm gonna show the time again. 8.06, uh, Annabelle called, so. Yeah, gotta, 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 gotta set priorities. That was priority answering phone call of that. I got two American cheeseburgers um, from, from Checker still. I'm gonna eat and then finish up the uh, th uh, thing. Maybe I have eat something at home, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna only eat one special to uh, rest them and keep it for him. But the funny part, they're actually cheaper uh, cheeseburgers at Checker's than at, um, What's it called? McDonald's. So they're pretty good. I kind of need some nerve right now. I don't feel like burgers, fries. Something different. A McDonald's. The interesting, interesting part about the theme park is how it was affected. Like some of the rides, the wait lines are okay because you keep the social distance on the rides as well. So 
kind of balance it out. Other ones have got horrible wait times because of that, because the, the way they're set up, you have like less capacity and all the stuff. So some of the rides are not fun waiting for them. They do virtual lines where you have to sign up online. Some rides just two hours wait lines. So with that being said, shake is done, the burger is done. We're gonna have to hit the road before I'm gonna get gas and then I'm gonna be back with some something else. Maybe he doesn't eat, it, uh, eat the burger and I eat it later. I don't know. So I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna show the time in case people think I'm cheating. I didn't talk as much. I have to find everything. Eight or nine and now three and a half hours of driving. Fun, fun, fun. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's actually super late, 11.57, we came back home like 15 minutes ago, I had to move out stuff out of the car, especially he fell asleep, of course. I figured that, I figured that. Fun, fun day, fun day, fun day at Legoland. Driving, what was it? It would have been seven hours to move back and forth. So, but we, spent, <laughs> we were there to the last second. Uh, sneaked in some rides with sneak in, I mean, towards the end, you have no waiting line, so we were almost running until from um, roller coaster or other, other thing to other thing, just having fun. That's what we love to do, it was quite amazing. And I'm trying to budget in new thing, they have like an annual pass for getting the pictures uh, from the rides and stuff like that. I'm thinking about getting that one. If we get one that more frequently, it's worth it. So you have some lovely memories. Anyway, so I'm gonna eat the cheeseburger that he didn't eat. As you guys can see, I'm exhausted. Driving, everything else, bad sleep. An off cheat day, because we sneaked in the theme park as well. Sorry for that. Video is totally off. Like I don't have enough thumbnails. Make a thumbnail, or pictures from the food and stuff like that. I'm exhausted. But we have fun. I'm thinking about doing the same thing next weekend to go to the Legoland. But I might have to push back my cheat day as far as that goes to um, Sunday. But I don't know. Actually, I like this cheat day totally today. For a reason, I have no idea about colors. I haven't put anything in, so it's going to be once I'm editing the video, I'm going to, do, I'm going to put in the numbers. But um, I wasn't that full throughout, throughout the day, so I might, might probably have way less calories. It was like just, just a fun day and walking around Legoland. Although I was hungry in between, but they have the unlimited drinks, the 100 plus flavor machines. You should have to get a new cup and stuff like that, but you pay one price. That gives me full, but it was just a fun time, like a roller coaster, a roller coaster. Those are the more roller coasters for children, but still fun. So I had this one I found at Target, and I wanted to buy two more because of... The main I was just talking about, I can't go into details because some people might watch actually my video. You guys get the hint. Um, but a Kinder um, thing, but they were sold out. The target, so I guess people must be getting the flavor in. And the fun fact about this one is, I just put a, put a random number, five hundred, I think seventy nine calories, I think it is, put in there because they do not have any nutritional values on this on this thing. I can't find it. Like I don't even I don't even know if it's allowed to have no nutritional value on your thing. There's no sticker, nothing. Doesn't tell me anything about the calories of this thing. So we're using that one should be roughly right. I need I want to get a coffee but best was sleeping and I'm like oh McDonald's just just get off the highway. To get McDonald's iced coffee, well, they're pretty good and cheap. They're always good, but for 99 cents for a large one. But luckily, I woke up and need to go to the bathroom. Obviously, I need to do have a little break from driving. I stop by at racetrack, they actually have iced coffee too. Make it yourself with the machine. 
I put ice cubes in the top, then go to have like five, uh, at least that location, four different machines, touch screen, they say, oh, iced coffee, pick the one, the beans with, coffee beans with um, hazelnut, they grind it fresh for you and put it in a cup, you put your creamer in and you put sugar in, and then now the fact why I explain all that stuff. I don't know. Is the microphone on? Ooh. Yes, I did. Oh. I'm like, I'm talking and talking talking to the microphone. No, thank you. Um, the point of it is, I'm not a barista. That thing was cheap, a dollar, but it didn't taste great. I don't know. What did, I think it was a coffee by itself that wasn't the, the great. It was at more. Um, I forgot the name right now. Like the grind coffee, like it felt like it has more. It wasn't full that right, and it had, it had actually more in there. I don't know if you guys know what I mean with it. I can't think of the word right now. I'm like really exhausted mentally. Next time I go to Legoland, I will leave a little bit earlier. We will really went all, almost all the way to the end, except maybe five minutes or ten minutes. But that because. We were hungry because they go in the place we normally eat are closed. They have like the restaurants, half of them are shut down because of the stuff going on right now. I don't use a name for future reasons because you know, worst problems. But yeah, they go in like a, a pizza buffet closed. I would another pizza place closed. Candy shop closed. They have some food trucks closed. They're really limited on stuff. Of course, like Legoland has like this one ride. It's a virtual ride where you do like um, big screen and you on um, a couch. That's what's supposed to be. But the ride, but it just moves you up and down, and because of the screen, it makes it seem like you're falling down and stuff like that. I think a lot of uh, theme parks have that. But I think I noticed, because the last time we went, not today, they shortened the clip a little bit. Don't quote me on that. The day it felt like they had it real time, so. It's just fun activity. And the sad thing is, like, driving down there, it's cheaper spending the gas money than doing something locally and we have more fun. Like everything is like insanely priced. Well yeah of course my favorite, only one bag, but my care package from my mom. I don't wanna eat it now, I'm just feel like stuff. Technically even after that I'm gonna be hungry, but it's way too late. I didn't anticipate staying that late, but I always do for, for the kids. They have fun, I have fun. Key, I guess, say for Legoland is having multiple phones. Because they have five or six rides, they have to sign up, as I said earlier, you have to sign on online to go, go in the queue, you know, on the waiting list, however you want to call it. I think they even call it waiting line. But our 120 minutes. And um, you can only RSVP one ride, reserve one ride. So, but once that has clocked, uh, clocks down, then you have to get your boarding pass. Boarding pass is valid for 15 minutes. You have to rush there and get that stuff done. If you have multiple phones, you can sign into multiple, multiple rides on the same ride back to back if you want to. And everybody does it, so it's not cheating the system. Everybody does it. I mean, multiple people. I think it's amazing that they actually some of the employees recognized us because we have been riding the rides so many times. Of course, most didn't. I don't blame them, I wouldn't do it either. You're going to see so many many people, oh, you don't remember them. You don't care at one point anymore. Some of them, oh, you guys again. Yeah. Same way happened when it was last week with anybody. Oh, you guys again. Oh, you're in the back again. Like, just tell us next time we can put you in the front, like for a roller coaster or something like that.
No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm just hung on a little bit, but I'm exhausted, so why overdo it? And as I said, I feel, kind of feel like burger stuff or something like real food. Um, oh, well, the only thing, oh, I'll show the time for us. 12, 17. The reason why I did this like two weeks, it was like going to be extended a little bit off, like, oh, I'm in, but don't give myself a, a, a calorie limit because I don't, I just needed a, need a break because of stuff going on. Just have, have myself like one less thing to worry about. Not my hunger feeling in any, every every time and stuff like that. It's just at least something. You know, who cares about the weight gain right now? I can always lose. It's not like I gain like a hundred pounds overnight, but just 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 give give, give like a reset to the body and everything like that and having fun. But I don't know. Oh, I just wanted to mention that towards the end because people are clear watch the end part, not just the first couple of minutes to make some kind of funny comment about it. Um, well, as I said, I am done and I apologize if I didn't say that because I'm really tired. Um, the video two weeks ago, we didn't make it at 8 a.m., but I will talk about stuff anyways in the damage part. Also, uh, as I said, last two weeks, busy, busy, Thanksgiving, having stuff done, doing stuff, driving around. You saw the last week we went to the hotel, actually, stayed in Cleveland for multiple days. This weekend, other stuff going on. So I have not even been logged into the computer and did anything like that. Even not, not even co did comments, uh, answering comments. So I have to catch up on that one, but like the morning we just, um, in the morning, like we just hardly made it to school, not hardly to made it to school, but right at the earliest time, like conveniently and stuff like that. So, no waiting around where I normally check stuff. So, busy times, busy times, but uh, I'm just not complaining. And I'm rambling on, sorry for that. I might have to cut out a little bit. I say it all the time, and so I have it in my edit. <laughs> when I edit, I hear it, and then I can't evaluate what I can even do or not. So that's my little trick. Because I'm not gonna forget stuff, forget stuff, forget stuff. I'm getting too old for that. Um, so I damage now and then. Just a little talk because I already bub uh, bubbled. Now I'm trying to talk and show I talked your ear off. So damage. Yes, end of the video and an off video like lately all of the videos and the next one's going to be a little bit off too But it was important to have a little bit fun. So that's what we had So I started with the weight before after and the days after and I explained something while I'm reading the weights So I started out at 199.4 All the extra cheat days show so at night I came in at 213.1, so almost 14 pounds gained during the cheat day. And then day one afterwards, so the morning, I came in at 210, so about three pounds overnight, but it doesn't go very well because I didn't fast, so it was cheat days, cheat days, cheat days. So um, day two afterwards, I came at 207.5. As you can see, a slower drop when I'm eating regular or actually over my maintenance, so. So day three afterwards, I came in at 204.2. Didn't fast, ate like my, I don't have no idea anymore, like probably five, six thousand calories. I didn't even track anything. Kind of eat a little bit more sugar stuff and stuff like that. So there's it shows on day four, I came in at 204.4. No fasting or anything like that. Regular eating, not really, it was more a cheat day as I said. Uh, just the stuff I needed, I needed, I needed. So it was a great cheat day. I love the fries. The fries, as, as I said, I wanted them to have more of the either the or chili cheese fries. It was like something I was craving. And like with the cheetahs lately and the future ones you will see, I'm craving more like of like, I call it like burger and um, pizza stuff. Like as far as like burgers, I even call it subs burgers in the same category. Like I want something with buns bread and some meat in it. So could be like bar, uh, subs, burgers and stuff like that. So like, you know, my cravings like switch around from time to time. Now I'm in that phase anyways. So hope you liked it. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know what to say. What to say it was was great. We had a fun time at Legoland. So I was talking a little bit more about Legoland. Hopefully you still liked it. Not it's too much back information. I think my next video uh, next week Monday is gonna be like hardly any talking. I'll make it a little bit shorter. It's just something I needed. So, anyway, it's like stuff going on in the personal life. You know how how it goes. And YouTube videos are not seen appropriate. That's all I can say about it right now. Uh, not my side. So, anyways, a little little um, um, fun fact, I guess. That's like what I'm dealing with. Anyways, um, so hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully you liked it. I hope you watched it all the way to the end so you got some extra information I just said. So there's a little explanation what's going on. Um, like it, share, comment. Thank you very much for that. For my social media as well. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I hope you really, really, really like this video so the views go back up um i don't have anything else to say i'm actually recording this one on on like saturday so i'm really good at editing this one i just put my time a little bit more in it um having fun hopefully hopefully you guys appreciate that so i don't have anything else to say i'm a little bit down from life so as, as it was it is what it is it's about to be christmas here so anyways so guys thanks for watching hopefully you're gonna have a fantastic christmas have fun enjoy it and with that being said i'm out i'm gonna show you a sneak preview of the next cheat day merry christmas this one will be more of a more of a cheat day so i think it's gonna be cheat weekend i've been cheating anyways for two weeks now uh domino's pizza with pepperoni a mushroom and bake bacon on it yes large and then this uh, ice cream.